What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Swill Entertainment Channel. Alright, so this game will be playing a game called World War 1945. Let's go ahead and download these updates and we'll get into it. Since April 1945, Gunshot breaks the era with full madness. Death of Adolf Hitler. With his death, era of madness ends and new hope has come arose. But military alliance named Pathos, led by warmonger Paul Reeder. They gathered followers to return to the era of madness transcending nation. Countries around the world held conference to stand against the new threat and form a new coalition to overcome the wounds and threats of the Second World War. Now we stand against the threats and terrors which is entirely different from the Second World War. Advance for only peace and victory begin. World War 1945. That's pretty deep. Alright, so now we have to get to select a nation. We can pick Germany or we can pick the United States. Uh, let's see, the German army has excellent armored forces and ability to build strong defensive positions with country cutting edge science and technology. Or we can pick the United States, which the US armed forces boost or boast superb productivity with vast resources, well balanced combat capability and particularly great supportability of infantry and the navy it's gonna be a tough call here but i think we're gonna go ahead and pick the united states all right so let's go ahead and name it up all right hopefully this will go through i don't know yep it went through all right so let's see what this game is all about let me see here All right, so our scouts have found multiple enemy bunkers near the beach area, which will cause heavy casualties during the landing. Um, attack enemies in base with support of ally fighters. Let's see here, what we got here, what we got? All right, attack the bunker with the enemy gunfire. Damn. Oh man, look at that. Now land your troops on the beach. Pick these dudes here. Right, these guys are going through, man. Boom beach style. Damn. Got to get waked up. All right, so these guys are running all over the place, but it looks pretty cool. I mean, it's like small little tiny graphics, nothing spectacular, but it looks like it's um, looks kind of fun so far. All right, enemy artillerys have more firepower than we thought. Our ground troops cannot get close. We need to send airborne units. All right, so there they go. Airborne. Oh my god, this looks amazing. All right, so our damage units are requesting healing. We need to heal those units. Let's do it. Okay, so they just run right into it. Nice. That's what's up. I've actually been in one before. Place is nice. So if you guys seen the movie Save Private Ryan, the beach area, I was there. I went to that. That's pretty cool looks exactly like the movie just like it but the movie wasn't the exact same thing it was like a replica but it looks just like that with the little craters and everything on the ground you can like stand into it and i can stick my arm up and you still can't see if you're like laying down on the ground you couldn't see my hand if i was standing up straight like that that's how cool it is Alright, so we got three sets of tanks going into the battle here, and we're going to take over that little headquarters. Alright, they retaliate more fiercely than we thought. 
uh, fire concussion shells from the fleet support our units or the Navy fire at will. Let's, go, let's get it, let's get it. Damn, I love war games, man. I love it. But this is just like Boom Beach, man, but like better graphics. Oh my gosh. All right, it can't be. Massive number of Pathos tanks unit emerge from the forest into the battlefield. Uh, there's no glory against their massive tank units. I'm afraid you'll need to order a full retreat to minimize our losses. Yeah. Let's go do it. Let's run. All right, so still can't believe Pathos forces were that powerful. Yeah, we're running like a champ. Get back to the base. Run. Tell between your legs. All right, so we claim our rewards. 20 soldiers look like daily login rewards. Okay, cool. So, looks like at the end we get a... I don't even know what that is. doesn't really tell you. You can't, like, click on it and see what they are. I guess you just have to log in every day and find out. All right, so Pathos' forces are more powerful than we thought. We have to assume that the intel is true. Most of strategic points during World War II have been compromised by them. All right, so enough reading. This is where you can see the units that you drafted in the battle. Tap unit button to begin drafting your basic rifle unit. All right. Unit screen allows you to choose deploying units from available infantry and tanks. You also um, form a special uh, support fleet by uh, assigning war fleets with fleet support skills. So let's go ahead and wait. The list you can see in the upper half of the screen is a list of infantry, tank, and warship units that you have. Um, the area in the combat lower half is a screen where you assign units or warships to send into battle. That's cool. So let's go ahead and click on that. Whoa. We have drafted our first unit. We will now draft unit or different infantry unit armed with grenades that can deal explosive damage to enemy buildings from afar. Alright, so we got rifle grenadier and rifleman get made right now. We have drafted our second unit. Our ground units are ready. We need more than ground troops to win. Yada yada yada. We got some warships and tanks. Alright, so warships, we got warship common parts, fleet part, or fletcher parts. Uh, parts can be obtained through battle rewards or by sending cargo ships black market and options too. I prepared parts needed for the first destroyer. Yada 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 yada. All that damn reading. Nobody does all that reading. Alright, so Fletcher has been constructed. Alright, let's go back. Let's assign warships that we just constructed to the fleet. Alright, so that takes a little while for that to load up. But it looks like this game is pretty deep so far. Alright, we need a warship that's been constructed and assigned to our fleet. Now we have supporting uh, supports by Navy during battle. I will now brief you on airborne units. Select infantry tab to continue. Alright. Um, if enemy defense is too strong at the area where we deploy the troops, it is supposed to attack, attacking behind enemy lines. Um, do a two-pronged attack, it will be very effective. Alright, that's where airborne units come in. Alright. Speaking of which, facilities like Academy and Ordnance Lab can only be upgraded to the level matches your level. Okay, that's common sense right there. Alright, this is a lot of tutorial, man. This is good. Alright, so this facility is a command center where you manage your all units and facilities. Let's upgrade your command center to level 2. Let's get it. Upgrade. Alright, your command center has been upgraded. Again, upgrading facilities will be limited by the level of the command center. So, if you have a barracks that's level 2, it's not going to be your command center is level 3. You can only go up to 2 or 3 up on your, your barracks. We'll skip all this right here because this is common sense. But some people have not played these kind of games, so I, I might slow down a little bit. Alright, so Academy building is level 2. Academy has been upgraded too. Now let's draft Airborne Unit from the unit screen. Alright, let's do this. 
Command will now assign an airborne unit located at the parachute icon to our forces. Alright, let's just do it. Let's go. You need to have parts um, and resource to unlock. Uh, damn. So 1,500 coins we have to spend. Airborne Ranger is now unlocked. Alright, now the airborne unit has been unlocked. Let's assign them to our units. Uh, the airborne unit has been assigned to your forces. Now you can drop our forces behind enemy lines. Raising the level of command center also increase the number of slots and the maximum total unit capacity. Uh, when I increase maximum total unit capacity, let's do it. All right, so let's see. By increasing the <clears throat> maximum unit capacity, you have more soldiers per unit and assign more units overall. Now we'll assign a tank unit, which requires more unit capacity and infantry. Yes, it does. Let's go ahead and click on that. All right, so you have finished drafting tank unit. Now all your units have been drafted. So right now we only have four slots. Once we get level five, level eight, level 11, level 14, level 17, level 19, we'll get more. All right, so let's X out of this and see what we have here. Let's head to our Solomon Islands to eliminate Pathos forces, station and area we drafted. All right, let's do it. Let's go to the world map, scenario mode. Start that battle. Let's go. Let's kill it. All right, let's see the enemy sentry tower on the coast. Let's deploy riflemen to take it out. Yeah, this is just like Boom Beach, man. Just like it. Modern day Boom Beach. Grenadiers, though. They won't let me use my grenadiers. Our unit has been wiped out by the enemy bunker. Bunkers have shorter range than the sentry towers, but they have superior attack and defense. Attack the bunker with grenades just outside the bunker. Yada, yada, yada. So I tried to do. Try to get my tanks, too. They won't let me do it. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, so we have three minutes, 14 seconds left to attack this little base. And then I'll let us put our, they're gonna, they're gonna die by mines, I knew it. I knew that was gonna happen. Now we need our tanks. All right, tanks can pass through wire um, entanglements without being harmed and destroy them by their sheer weight. Now let's deploy our tanks. Man, gotta be wasting, wasting all my units. So we have one tank that's gonna go right over the barbed wire, which is normal. Boom, 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 boom. Now the tank's gonna die. Our tank units have taken damage from anti-tank mines um, the enemy has planted. I assume there are more anti-tank mines in the area. We need Navy support to locate the mines. We should have put the Navy first, man. Uh, we locate the enemy's anti-tank mines with the help of the enemy drops skill. Now let's destroy those mines with Navy's guns. Shoot them up. All right, dropping airborne units in the blind spot of the enemy Hauser will allow us to destroy them without any loss. We will now drop airborne units. Okay, cool. Cool. Now we're good. He's good. All right, so airborne is just like going ham on these people, man. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, all enemy defensive buildings have been destroyed. Now, commander units to destroy the enemy resource storages. What? Oh, crap. Airborne leads the way. There we go. Just like that, man. Just like that. All right, so that's it. So we win. Loot resource that could not be looted due to the lack of storage by revisiting the stage. All right. All right, we've successfully occupied Pathos Base in the Solomon Islands thanks to your excellent leadership. Yes, yes, yes. 
All right, draft. So we have to pay to draft. All units have been recovered. Okay, so you got the same units. So we have to do them over again. Let's build an intelligence agency. Okay, cool. Let's see the intelligence. Let me read about it first. All right, we construct an intelligence agency. Allows you to resource units from other country. What? Sending an agent to collect intel of other countries will allow you to draft that unit. Nice. All right, so let's send an agent that we can use the unit for another country. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see. Waffen Grenadier. Now, I don't know if this is any stronger or not. Um, three agents available for us to gather intel. And it's all girls. All right, so what if the... Uh, the enemy is gay. What are you supposed to do? Hmm. Facts. All right, finally, we have Agent Catalina. She's our veteran agent who can carry out spying activities very quickly while gathering the most amount of intel. She requires diamonds to operate, but she is worth the cost. I'm sure she is. All right, speaking of which, I see that the veteran agent can do... Let's see. This one is a lot. All right, look like she's already done. All right, let's collect that info, man. Got an intel and unit through spine will allow us to draft that unit. Now, do I really want to draft that unit or not? I don't know. All right, tap build icon to see defensive buildings you can build in the defensive tab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got three things. All right, let's start building a sentry tower. Sentry towers are towers stationed by riflemen. It can fend off enemy infantry at a distance. Let's go ahead and put that sucker down. Check mark, check mark, check Raj. Done and done. Sentry Tower's construction has been completed. All con uh, constructible buildings can be moved to be change their location. So think about how enemy might attack that place towers accordingly. Yada, 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 yada. Gotta build a garrison. Let's get it. This is a really good tutorial, though. I like it. Very informative. All right. Garrison's been built. Now you can assign a unit to the garrison. Let's put them in there. Draft it up. And let's go. All right, commander unit has been assigned to the garrison. Like defensive building, garrison units will have will chase enemies when they see them. Utilize characters characteristics of garrison units to defend more efficiently. Um, yeah. Upgrade. Oh, the unit has been upgraded. Having more units is important, but it's equally important to upgrade existing units to turn them into more powerful ones. So always keep that in mind. Uh, now it looks like I told you everything. Now you have no turn building power troops of your own protect the world clutches. All right, so that's complete. Event goal complete. All right, so I don't know what we have this here. What's this thing pulsating for? All right, so it looks like we can upgrade our troops too. Let's go ahead and collect up these little resources. Damn, I wish I could use my, my pen, but I can't use my pen. Let's look at our mail real quick here. We've got mail. You got mail. Claim all these rewards. But yeah, this is a pretty cool game. I would recommend trying it out. So far, so good. I'm not complaining. Tutorial is really good. Doesn't lead you astray. Tells you everything in the beginning. Um, cargo ship dock. Let's go ahead and build that guy. All right, so this is going to do... Let's see. Cargo ship can gather materials and resources for modifications. Upgrade this dock to enhance the type of and quantity of materials and resources. All right, so that's good. We got that built up. So, I don't know if it goes out automatically. Alright, so I guess you can pick. Search again. Depart six hours. So, it's going to be gone for six hours, I suppose. Yeah, there you go. They're gone. Six hours. That's what's up. Alright, so we have a sentry tower and another bunker. We can build two of those automatically there. And what else do we have? Uh, wire entanglement and anti-tank mines. Alright, so let's build another sentry tower. I suppose we'll put it here for now. I guess you can move it later on. And let's go ahead and build a bunker. Bunker or two. Alright, so that one's going to be built over there. 
And we'll put a bunker over this way just for GP, I guess. I don't know. GP. Alright, we have two more things we can build. Anti-tank mines and wire entanglements. I don't know where I should. Can I construct like that position? Okay, we can put it there, I guess. I, I don't know. Put one over here, too. Hopefully, we can take out these dudes with this. I don't know. Should be good. Damn, we can build a bunch of these things. I didn't realize you can put this many. I'll just put them over here, I guess. They're not attacking here with troops, that's for sure. I'm sure the AI in this game is pretty dumb, so... These, these troops are going to run right into this stuff. I know it. Damn, man. How many can we build? Jeez. Alright, so that's it. That's all the entanglements there. And not, now we have to do the anti-tank mines. And I don't really want to put them right in the beginning. That's where they're going to predict what they're going to be. So we'll put them, like, throughout. Now, honestly... I'm going to probably put it over here for now. Whoa. That's why we need my pen, man. I can use my pen for certain activities, but not a lot. All right, so we got the games. Oh, this is our achievements and stuff like that. We got settings. Link your account. Definitely want to link the account, so let's go ahead and knock that out. All right, so everything is linked up and bound and all that good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. You can follow me on social media. Um, follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter and also Facebook as well. And hey, there's also Instagram. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.